Hello everyone. In today's video we will be covering case number 26 and 27 from the speed solving wiki and these are known as the soon cases and you can tell a soon case because it looks like a fish. So you have four like, little square next to each other and then you'll have two little fins of the fish so imagine this being the head of the fish and these this being the fins of the fish. And soon it comes in a left and a right hand variety but you can convert all of these things that we're doing directly to the left hand version of this. And what I mean by the left hand version is if you, when you're organizing your top layer on soon, you'll have your fish head and then you'll have either the yellow here or the yellow will be here. So it's either one of these two. So the yellow will be on the same face as your block. It will either be here or it will be here. So this is the left hand soon because if you put the fish head towards you and you don't see the yellow, well then you need to rotate and, and now you can see the yellow. So this is the typical orientation of solving a soon. And this is the left hand version because you would be moving your left hand to start the algo. And then this is the right hand version because you have your fish head but the yellow is on this side now. So you want to put your block towards you and then your yellow facing you. And what this video will cover is not only will it cover the soon case but it will also cover all of the derivatives of soon cases and what a fat soon is and what an anti soon is. And we will go over all of the, the different types and then show you which algorithms though each one of those solves. And then there's a couple algs that you can solve with a combination of soons. So it's going to be kind of a long video. Let's get started. So before we get into how to solve all the different soon cases, we need to define what a soon is and what we're going to reference them in this video. And I use, this is the terminology I'll be using for this video. And with a soon, what we're doing is we're taking a pair out and we're inserting it with a U2. So we take it out with a single U move and then we move it to the back so we can insert it with a U2 and then insert it with a U2. And that's your regular soon. Now, the, if you notice that you're taking it out with a one move and then you're inserting it with a U2 move, well, the opposite of that is an anti soon. So you take it out with a two move and then you move it over and you insert it with a single U move. So a regular soon is take it out with a one and insert it with a two. And an anti soon is you take it out with a two and insert it with a one. Now, there's also a thing called a fat soon. And a fat soon is you're going to take, instead of taking this block out, you're going to take this entire square out. So instead of just this pair, you're going to take this whole block. Take it out with one, and then we insert it with a two. And you'll notice the middle layer just stays the same until the very end. So again, we're going to move the middle layer up, and then it's exactly the same. We'll take it out, move it over, and then we'll insert with a two, and then the last move will just move the, the middle layer back as well. So that is a fat soon. Now there's also a fat anti soon and the anti of it says that you need to take it out with a U2 move. So we'll fat anti soon. So fat anti takes it out with a 2. Regular anti takes it out with a 2 as well. So you have a, a regular version and a fat version and then you have an anti or you have a regular version. So you take it out of the one with regular, take it out of the two as anti, and then you have a regular soon and a fat soon. And then you also have the reverse of all these. So you have the, you're, you're doing the same thing, you're just doing it from the back. So you have a regular soon, so you take it out from the back, move it over, and then insert it with the U2, so you have to move it here, and then insert it with the U2. And then you have an reverse anti soon, take it out with U2, put it in with a single move. You have a fat soon, Oops. and then you have a fat, reverse fat anti soon, reverse fat anti soon. So quickly again your soon, you take it out with a single one, an anti you're taking it out with two, and then a fat is just the fat version of those. So those are the the four main types of soons that you have is you have a regular soon, you have a anti soon, you have a fat soon, and then you have a
fat anti serum. So you have to understand those four concepts because the rest of the video will, will tell you in this scenario use a fat anti serum. So you have to know what a fat anti serum is. So let's go over what those solve. Now, as we know, a regular soon, if you point the fish head, it's you know it's the fish head, and you point the yellow piece towards you, and we start with this one. Your regular soon will solve this case. So a regular soon is you take it out with the one, you move it over, and insert it with the two. So as far as efficient use of finger movements on a soon, if you have the front right soon, what we're going to do is we're going to push this pair out with our other hand. So we'll lift the pair up, and then we'll push it out of the way, and then lower move it over with this finger and then these two are sitting here ready to do a U2 move so you just pull up U2 and then move it back down so again we'll push it out and then slide it in and this allows pretty efficient use of your finger movements and the, the only thing that is a gotcha for this one is when you when you push it out and then when you're reinserting this is actually a reverse corner cut so if you don't have a very good cube you have to make sure that this is aligned correctly otherwise you'll catch back here and you know it, it might mess you up a little bit so we push we pull and then we pull out we just have to make sure you can tell mine's off a little bit and this happens quite a lot and I have a pretty decent cube so you know it'll just slide over but sometimes it'll be like that and then it'll catch and tell you get corner twists and those kind of things for the left hand version we're gonna do the same thing we're going to push with our finger so we'll push pull and in push pull in and at speed anti soon is you point your fish so the yellow piece is on the left or the right. So if it's on the right, then we're still going to take this pair out below the yellow piece, but we're just going to do the anti version of it. So we'll take this out with the two. So if you have a fish head, and instead of sitting like this where it's in the back where you do the reverse one, if it lands here, then do an anti soon. So the, the, if it faces left or the right, we're always going to take it out with the two and then insert it with a one and that will solve your case. So you shouldn't have to ever adjust the upper face if you see a soon, because if you see a soon, no matter where it's sitting, you can always solve it. So if it's sitting like that, well then we know this is an anti soon on this back left corner, so we'll take it out with a two, and then push it in with a one, and that will solve it. So for a soon, you should never have to rotate to solve the soon. If the yellow is on the towards you or behind you, it's a regular soon, and if you it faces toward the right or the left, then it's an anti soon. So if it's back here, we know this is an anti soon in this back right spot. So we'll take it out with a two and then pull it in. So for anti soon from the front, what we're going to do is we're going to kick it out with a two. So we'll just brace this up and kick it out. And then we're going to perform this and this move with another U2 flick. Uh, so we're going to time it in a way that we can flick both of them at the same time. So basically with this hand, you're just doing two U2 flicks. So we'll kick it out with the U2 and then we're going to kick it back in with another U2. So again, we're going to kick it out with the U2, and then we're going to insert it with a U2. Kick it out, and then... So same for the left-hand side, we'll kick it out with the U2, and then we'll reinsert it with a U2. So the trick to this one really is, is mastering the, the, the double flick insert. So you take it out with the U2, and then you move it down one, over, and then up. So try to be as efficient as possible at speed. For the fat tunes, which is the ones where you take it out with a fat version and then insert it with a two, two you move. That's going to solve one of your small lightning bolt cases, and there's two of them actually. If you can tell, there's if you organize that lightning bolt where you have the kind of the stranded edge piece facing on the, the back row, well, you'll either have the two on this side with that stranded piece, or you'll have the other two that's not on that stranded piece. And what this fat soon case will solve is the one where these two line up with this piece. So if you look at your stranded edge piece and look at its opposite side, if this piece is yellow, you'll only ever have these two cases. So if they line up like this, that's how you can recognize to solve this case. And how to solve this is you just orient it like this, so your edge piece is in the, the back. 
your unoriented edge piece that's kind of on its own little island back here. You want to put it on the back, so the left hand version of this, it would be here, and then you would do the, the left hand version. But for us, we put it in the back, and then we're going to lift the other two rows. Because remember, we're doing a fat soon, so we're going to take this out, move it over, and then reinsert with the two. So we organize it like this, and then we'll take this block out, move it over, and then insert it with the two, and that will orient your case. So again, we look at the case, we see the small lightning bolt, and then we look across the island to make sure this is a yellow piece here and not here, and then we know this is our case. So we want to move the two rows that are not part of this island piece, and that's where we'll start our case. So we'll perform a fat soon, and that will orient your that case. That's for the fat soon. In order to regripplessly do the fat soon effectively with your fingers, what we're going to do is we're going to lift this whole side up and pull out the block, move it down, push it over, and then we're, when we come back up, our first U move is going to be with our thumb. So we're going to pull out, kick over, and then you move with our thumb. And that's the, the, the most efficient way that you can use your fingers in my mind. Now the other way you can do this is you can push, push, and then pull just like just like the variation of solving the soon. So you can push it out, push it, and then pull it in with the U2. So that, that does require a regrip. So the regripless version of solving this case is you would pull it out, move it over, and then you're basically just pushing up with your thumb to do that first and then finish with one movement. That way you don't have to try to do U2 and hold on with your fingers like this. And the bat soon at speed. For the fat anti soon, so you take it out with a 2 and then insert it with a 1. For that one, that solves your square case. So if you get the square case, you know that it is the fat anti soon that will solve this case. And there's a left hand and right hand version, obviously. And what you're looking for is you're looking for a side with a single yellow color on it. So you'll have one with two, one with two, one with none, and then one with one. And this is the how we're going to determine how to orient this case. So you'll have your square, and you want to put your square in the back, and your yellow piece on the left or the right. So this is incorrect because you can't see your yellow piece that's facing away from you, it should be facing this way. And how we're going to solve this case is we're going to do a fat anti soon, and we're going to do it by leaving this row alone. So we will grab both of these rows. So this is just like the island in the last one. We're going to, here's our, here's our piece, so we're going to lift this piece up, but we're doing a fat version of it. So we're going to lift this piece up, kick it out with a 2, and then insert it with a 1, and that will solve your case. So on this one, this is the left hand version, so you put your square in the back, and this has to be on the left or the right, so if it's here it's incorrect because it's on the back, so we'll move it like that, and then we start with this piece, so we'll, do, we'll start our fat anti soon with this piece, so we'll fat anti soon, and that will solve your case. And for the fat anti soon, what I do is I always regrip, it just seems a little easier for me, you could do the double and then pull it in. Uh, but what I always do is I always just regrip and then kick it out with the with the two with the regrip. So I always do a regrip, pull it in. It just seems a little easier for me, a little more comfortable. But the regripless version is you would kick it out with the two and then kick it over. So you kick it out with the two and then, but then you have to like make sure that your middle layer is not being moved. So you got to move your thumb over. So it's always a little easier for me just to. Um, Regrip on this one, so if I see a fat soon, I'll regrip. It just seems a little easier. So I'm pulling with the two, and then I know I'm going here, and I'm just double double cocking on the finger. For the tenth of a second, I'll save. It's not worth trying to to mess my grip up with a, a U2 on this one. But you double, and then you're in, and then at speed. So when it comes to a reverse soon, where you're just kicking this out with a single move and then inserting it, uh, we're going to do the same thing with the double finger, but we're going to take it out with this one and then 
move it over with this one. So you're doing two double flicks again. So one to take it out, and then one to insert it. So one to take it out, and then one to insert it. So again, and it solves this case where you have the piece back here and you're, you know, it's just reverse anti soon. Or reverse soon. We'll take it out and then insert it with the U2. Take it out, insert it with U2. So that's reverse anti soon. Reverse, or that's reverse soon. Reverse anti soon is you kick it out with the U2 and then I pull and I push to reinsert it. So you kick it out with the U2 and then your finger's right here, so you're going to pull and then push it back in to place. Kick it out, push it in. So it's free gripless. It's, you need a pretty decent cube for it. I don't think you can do this on a Rubik's brand, but you can kick it out and you're just pulling and pushing back with this hand, so you're kicking out, pull, push. So that's how you do the reverse anti soon. Reverse fat soon, we're kicking out with a wand. We'll kick it out with a wand. So we're going to do the same thing. So the same concept applies where you're kicking out with uh, a U2 and then. And now this one's a little more wobbly. Uh, you also can do that. So if you want to regrip, you can pull, and then pull again, and then when you you can double flick with this hand, and then just move this whole bar down. So again, we're doing the same thing, just from a different gripping. But how I normally do a reverse anti soon is I pull out with a one with the finger, and I just double cock on this finger because it's not really worth it to mess up my grip. That way I can keep a strong grip on this. And then down. And then for reverse anti soon, you kick it out with the two and then do the same push and move that you did with the reverse anti soon. So you, there's reverse anti soon where you're pulling and then pushing it in with your finger. Or you do the same thing for the fat version. So you fat anti soon and then your finger's right here. So you pull and then you're going to push here and then, you know, just click it down. So fat versions. So some of them I can't quite do the, as well with my left hand, and some I can't do as well with my right hand. So for, the, for the left soon, that one, I can do that one pretty quick, and I never have catching issues. But if I do it with my right hand, sometimes I'll have catching issues. So find something that works for you for both hands and just, just run with it. Uh, soon is one of the most robust algs out there, and there's lots of ways that you can insert it are lots of ways that you can execute it. So really it depends on your personal cubing style. So play with this one a lot. One other thing I did want to mention. So in my mind, the soon is actually two moves. The first move is take this out and put it here all in one move. And that's why I think it's important to push and pull at the same time. So you, you push, pull, and that's taking out. So in my mind, that's not, that's not taking it out, moving it over one to get ready for the insertion. What this is, is, is taking it out and putting it here in one fluid motion. So that's so if you break down the algs into a smaller subset of algs, and this will translate across the entire series, but if you take some of the sets of the moves that we're doing, well, here's one set, and then this is another, and then this is another. Well, if you think about that in a different way, so if you think about that as the first move that you have is to take this out and put it here in one move, then it might change the way that you teach your fingers how to, how to execute the algorithm. So th then the next move is just one of those. So you take it out in one move and then you insert it in another move. So just some food for thought. When you're, when you're doing these algs, try to break them up in unconventional ways. And as you're performing some of the different inserts, if you notice something feels uncomfortable, drill it over and over and over and over and over again. I'll probably solve soon. I, mean, I don't even know how many thousands of times over the last week or so just to kind of practice and make sure I, I had my fingerings down the way I wanted them. So. If you have anything that feels uncomfortable or you think it feels goofy or slow or it doesn't quite work for you, then drill it over and over and over again and see if that's true because this is a learned skill. It's not going to come naturally. So you have to force your fingers to uh, memorize the movements. And so head slammers and sledgehammers, some people that doesn't feel comfortable to them. So practice those, practice those movements until they become comfortable and then they can be smaller sets of a larger algorithm and you don't even have to think about those those specific cases. So get used to that movement because that will show up in different algs and then the double flick will show up in different algs. So there's one kind of set of moves 
and then when the insertion so is a set of moves too so getting that timing correct is important and that will not only help you for the soon algorithm but it will help you throughout the series Now that we know soon, we can solve a couple more cases pretty easily. And the first case we can solve is one of the Mickey Mouse cases. I think these are called clown or bunny cases. But basically you have one center and then you have two uh, corners oriented correctly. And it kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse. And you have there's two possible cases. One of them has a bar as the top color can be facing you. And one of them will have a line and then a couple pairs on the sides. So you, this is the one we're looking for. That's what soon can solve. And basically what we're going to do for this one is we're going to put the Mickey Mouse ears behind on the back and we're going to perform a right fat anti soon So right, so right fat anti soon And then that gives you the regular right hand version fat anti soon So fat anti starting with the two soon. So again, we'll do how you want to use your finger tricks on this one is you you're doing a right fat anti soon so you're kicking out with the two and inserting it with the one and then you can you can continue moving because this all this is doing is, is a lot of this so we can continue it into our second one just like that so again we'll right fat anti soon and we push and then we're holding on here and then we can move it all the way over because we go here but we don't have to stop we can just make this a, 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 a R2 and then right into that one. So, something like that. So right, reverse version, and then a front version, and they're both fat anti soons. So, fat anti soon from the back, fat anti soon from the front will solve this case. So, one more time. We'll solve the case. Another case that multiple students can solve is this case. It's your other Mickey Mouse case. So now you have your, your line here. And if we put that in the bag, and then we just do fat soons instead of fat anti soons for the same thing that we just did. So we'll do a fat soon. And then you'll notice that it gave us the regular. So the first one was reverse. Now this is just a fat soon. Because here's our, here's our island piece. These two are on the same row as our island piece. So this means that we can do a, a fat soon here, and that will solve that case as well. So if you have the dot, you put the dot in front of you, and the Mickey Mouse ears behind you, and you do fat anti soons So you start with the back, do an anti soon and then you'll notice that this is just a regular anti soon And if you get the, the bar, you put the Mickey Mouse ears towards you, and put the bar in the back, and then you do a fat soon. So fat soon and that gave us this one so we'll just do fat soon and that will solve that case. So two soons can solve both of your Mickey Mouse cases as well. So using that same concept we used last time where to, we performed two soons to solve a case and we just cancelled a couple moves out, you can also do that with a fat soon. And the case that this solves is one of the um, J cases or L cases. And you'll have a case where you have a bar here. It's a solid bar. And you'll have headlights. So you'll either have a solid bar and then you'll have a two next to each other. Or you'll have headlights. And this will solve the headlights case. So if you put your headlights in the back. And what we're going to do is we're going to lift up the side. Once again we have this island piece up here. So we're going to leave this the same. So we're just going to perform two fat anti soons on this using this island as our kind of our island we're leaving alone so we'll perform a fat anti soon and then that gave us another fat anti soon so we can cancel a few moves out because basically you're doing a fat anti soon and you're doing that and then the first thing you're doing is that again so we can cancel both of those moves out so what that winds up being is when you if you regrip and you take it out with a two, and then just a sexy move, and then reinsert, and that will solve your case. So again, if you have your line facing in front of you in one of your J case, and this is the one with the headlights. So you'll either have headlights or you'll have 
uh, two of them right next to each other. So the headlight case, you put the headlights away from you, and then we're going to lift the side up that does not have the corner, uh, our island. So if this was the left hand side, it might be a J here, and then this is the piece, so we would lift these up first, so we would leave this one alone. But this is our island in this case, so we're going to, it's the right hand version of it. So we're going to perform two right hand anti or fat antis. So a fat anti, I'll cancel. So again, here's our headlights. Fat, two in a row, cancel a couple moves out, and that solves that case. And that's beaten. So another case that uh, soons can solve is case 21, and I went over this in my last video, but I wanted to briefly cover it in the soon video. So if you organize your pieces like this and do two anti soons just regular two anti soons then that will solve the case. And the reason I use this particular alg is because you can cancel a couple moves out. So if you organize the, the pieces where you have two blinkers facing you and two or two headlights facing you and two headlights in the back, then if you perform two anti soons you can cancel a couple moves out because you're basically your first part of your your last part of your first soon and then your first part of your second soon is just doing that so you can completely cancel those moves out. So basically what it turns into is a take it out with a two, move it over one, and then just perform a sexy move on this pair and then reinsert. So again you take it out with a two, sexy move, and then reinsert. Two, sexy move, reinsert, reinsert. So two, sexy move, reinsert. And that will solve this case organized like this. So two, sexy move, reinsert. Okay, so the rest of the video will cover how to solve the last layer just with soons and its derivatives. So if you're not interested in that, then thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, and I'm going to go relatively quickly over this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. And there's one setup move, and then so the first thing you do is you orient your corners in the right, or you position your corners in the right position, and then you get your cross, and then you orient the last layer, and then you solve. So you have to orient your corners first. So after you get your first two layers done, then what we need to do, and this is a little different recognition than uh, normal CFOP solves, we have to do, find a piece and we'll put it over its slot. So here's a blue red piece and here's over the blue red slot. It doesn't matter the orientation, it's just, it's over this slot. So then we're gonna look at our other pieces and there's going to be possibly another one that's oriented correctly. And if none of them are, then rotate and find another piece because you will either have here we go so here's two so here's a blue orange and here's a orange green and these are in the correct positions over their pieces and then it looks like these two need to flip so here's a green red and this needs to go over this one and then a blue green or a blue red needs to go over this one so you will only ever have so in this case we have these two in the right spot and these two need to flip well the other case you can have besides all four being in the right spot is you you could possibly have to flip corner pieces. So these might be in the right position and you'll have to flip these two. So in that case you'll just do this algorithm twice. And what we're doing is we're going to take the two pieces that need to flip because this is uh, the blue red and it needs to go over the blue red slot and we're just going to, so these are the two we need to flip and we're going to take this pair out and sledgehammer it back in. And then if we move the top face over one we can see that that oriented all of our, or positioned all of our pieces over their respective slots. So here's the red blue Here's the green, here's the orange green, and then here's the whoops, and then here's the the blue orange. Okay, so once you position your pieces over their respective corners, then you can either have the dot, the line, or the J case if you don't have them all organized already or oriented correctly. Because the next step is to get all four edges. Um, and what we're going to do is, if it's a line, we're going to position it like this, and we're going to uh, reverse soon on this side and that will give you a J case. So if you have a J case or a dot case, we'll position it like this, and then we'll do a reverse fat anti soon and that will give you all four cases. So, so 
So again, you can either have a dot, a line, or a J. And if you have a line, you organize it like this and do a reverse soon. And then if you have a J, because if you do that to a dot, if you have a J or a dot, then we're going to do a reverse fat anti soon. And if you have a dot, it will give you a J, so you'll have to do this twice. And that gave you all four of your edges oriented. Now you can see we already have soon, but we're going to follow the process. The next step is to orient the last layer. And how we do that is we count how many edges are facing up or how many corners are oriented correctly. You can either have zero, one, or two corners facing up. So we're going to count, and in this case we only have one, so we're going to put a the, the single piece back here. So we're either going to put a yellow piece here if it's zero, here if it's one, and here if it's two. So we're going to count the number of edges or corners oriented facing up, and then we're going to place a yellow face. If there's zero, we're going to place a yellow face here. If there's one, we're going to place a yellow face here. And if there's two, we're going to place a yellow face here. So in this case, we're going to place our yellow face here, because there's one, so it's on the top top face of it. And then we're going to perform a soon from the back right, and that'll give you another case. So again, we have one facing up, so we'll put it in the back left-hand corner, and then perform our soon, and that solves your case. Now that's not always the case. So if you don't have any oriented, so here's one, two, three, four, and none of them are oriented. So we're going to find a yellow piece and put it right here in this position. And in this case, you can either put this one here or this one here, it doesn't matter. As long as you put a yellow face here. So zero, one, two, and we're at zero, so that's where we're at. And then we'll do a soon. And that, again, this gives you a soon. So as soon as you see soon, you can just do it and solve it. But if you follow the process, put a piece. There's only one oriented up, so you're going to put it right here. And then perform your soon and that will solve your case. If you have two oriented, then again we're going to place our offending corner here, but we want to put a yellow face right here. So this isn't yellow, so there's our yellow face. And then we're going to do the same thing, back right soon. And then we have a one, so we'll put it here, and back right soon. And then again we have a one, so back right soon, and that orients your your last layer. So the next thing we have to do is permute the last layer. So in order to permute the last layer, we're basically going to do two soons. We're going to do a soon, a U move, and another soon. And you're looking for a bar. So it's very similar to two look PLL, where you do something to get a bar, and then you orient it, and then you do something else. So since we positioned our corners correctly earlier, we don't have to do that now. So it limits it to a subset of PLL algs around, because all a soon does is flip two of these and then move these around and rotate them. So with combinations of soons, we can solve this last layer. So if you don't have a bar, you're just going to do a soon from the back and then move the top layer so that when you do the soon, it solves it. So we did that from this one. You can tell here's our yellow face, so we're going to move it back here and then perform a soon on this end. And that will reorient your piece and you should have a bar by now. So now we have our bar. So we're going to take our bar, place it towards you, and then we're going to look at whatever this side is. So here's a green side, so we're going to find the green piece that's out of place. So here's the green side, here's the green piece. So if this was a red side, we would start with this piece. But since this is a green side, we'll start with this piece, because this piece goes here. So we're going to take whatever color is on the back face, and that's and find the piece that's out of position, and, and start with that. So we're going to do a reverse soon from here, and then we're going to organize it so we can do the soon from the other back corner. So here's our yellow piece, we'll move it over so it's a reverse, and that solves your cube. So if you do a soon, and then a U move, and then a soon, basically what that does is a U perm. So again, we have green, we're going to find our green piece, our green piece is here, so we're going to start with this side, because there's a green piece, we'll do a soon from this end, and then do another soon, that solves the last layer. So that's how to do PLL just with the last layer, but the, the important part is you have to orient all your corners first, or position your corners 
correctly first. So that's why we were doing the taking it out and insert it with a uh, sledgehammer that was positioning corner so you can finish the last layer just with soons. It's a little move heavy, it's a, it's a lot move heavy, but I thought it was a fun thing to do and since I'm doing a soon video, might as well teach you guys how to solve your entire last layer just with soon. And I think that's it for soon. Soon's a pretty powerful algorithm and you can solve quite a few cases just with soon and, and it even gets a little crazier than that because you can do a soon, rotate the U face, do another soon. So I didn't get into every single algorithm that you can, or every single LL case that you can solve with soon because there's there's quite a few. But I did cover the ones that are what I feel are quick enough to learn. The next set of videos we're going to be doing are all of the T1 cases. So this is the T1 case where you have a, a, a T on the top and you have headlights on the side because otherwise you'd have a bar here and a bar here. And we're going to cover all of these cases. And there's about 10 cases you can solve just by knowing how to do this case. And this case is the simple, you already know this one, this is how you normally get a line to a cross. It's just an F move, and then sexy move, and then undo your F move. So that movement and variations and derivations of that will provide solutions to 10 OLL cases. So we're going to do that in our next video. They're really, really easy to perform, easy to recognize. And I want to get through some of the easier videos first so we can move on to some of the more advanced cases. So expect that in the next video. If you had any questions or comments on this video, leave them in the comment section below. And until then, happy cubing.